It's n never 100% foolproof, especially when we get as cold as we are now, but it is definitely going to help and it could help save a whole lot of money. Chances are if you see a plumbing service at a home this weekend, it's because of the extremely cold weather. Greg Knox, a plumber, and he says he's been called out for a lot of pipe breaks. Generally, when you get a, you know, a good freeze like last night, and things start to thaw out, that's when the breaks start happening. Water line breaks and frozen pipes mean costly repairs for homeowners, but there are steps you can take right now to prevent pipes in your home from freezing. You know, when you go to sleep at night, you want to open your cabinet doors underneath all your sinks. You want to make sure, uh, you know, you go through and you drip your faucets, keep that water moving through the water lines. Um, you know, if that water's moving, it's not going to freeze. But if you wake up tomorrow and notice you don't have water, there's a problem. Let's say you have no water to any place in your house. Um, go to whatever your furthest fixture is, or you just go to a couple fixtures, open a couple faucets mm -hmm. up. You have no water, just leave them open. Just let them go. Knox says the sun will help thaw frozen pipes, but you need to go one step further and check for leaks, even in places you might not think. At least open the crawl space up and look in with a flashlight. More than likely, if, if a water line is broken from freezing, you're going to hear it. You're going to know it. It's not going to be a slow little drip. You will know it. And at that point, yeah, you do need to call somebody. And he has a word of advice for anyone who tries to take thawing pipes into their own hands. Do not use any kind of torches, electric bikes, anything like this. It's a bad idea.